Happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, this video has been kind of a long time coming. I've thought about it a lot and wanted to finally get it done, get it out there into the world and, and share my thoughts on this pretty critical topic. I've been using this topic as part of my team uh, mental skills development program and it's working phenomenally well. And before making a video about it for a more general audience, I wanted to really think and internalize and, and come up with the best way to present it. And I think the best way might just be the most obvious way in that in, in mental skills development, we talk a lot about self-confidence, self-talk, self-belief, self-image, et cetera, et cetera without really understanding who the self is. And my belief is that that understanding of yourself is foundational to being able to do anything else. So without a strong foundation of the self, it's very difficult to build the pillars of elite performance, physical, mental, tactical, technical, anything that you build upon a a cracked foundation is going to be more wobbly than a foundation built very solidly, which allows you to then build strong pillars of your elite performance. So how do you get to find out who is your true self? Uh, and this is more of it. This is more of the difficult part of the conversation because it could be different for everybody. But ultimately what you have to do is Dig into the ways that you act contrary to what really makes you feel good. So when you connect mind, heart, gut, body, spirit, when you connect all of that and you're authentic with it, you're able to identify the things that bring you joy. So as an athlete, does playing your sport bring you joy? Or are you doing it for some kind of external validation or, um, you know, an external cause is bringing you to the sport rather than your own internal desire to play the sport, to perform at an elite, an elite level, to show the world what you're capable of, to share your skill and talent with the world, um, to accomplish goals, et cetera, et cetera, right? So if... The reason, and you know, you hear a lot of people talking about your why, right? Your why has to be something internal. It has to be connected to your true self. If it's not, it's weak. Even those of us that say, oh, you know, my family is my why. Awesome. Your family is super important. Your family is still external to your true self. And I know that might be a hard one for everybody to grasp. But it's true. Your family can be a solid number two why. The number one why has to be from you, from your true self. So if your true self says, um, I am a baller because I am talented, I am skilled, and I absolutely love my sport, and I want to go out and show the world what I can do, and that brings me true joy, beautiful. You are going to have an amazing experience after amazing experience within your sport and with perf within performing in your sport. If your why currently is, well, my mom and dad want me to play the sport and I don't want to let my mom and dad down and, you know, I'm pretty good at it. I mean, I don't really care that much, but I'm, okay, I'm good at it and, you know, I don't want to let anybody down. That is going to be a crack in your foundation. And at some point, your ability to perform at an elite level will be challenged. You, you, you will not be able to reach the, the level of performance that you would be capable of if that internal why, that internal connection to self is 100% authentic. So can you get to that point? Yes, you can. Um, what I would recommend doing right now is going and finding a time every day where you can just be with yourself quietly, no music, 
Um, you know, no guided meditation. Just find a place where you can sit quietly for 10 or 15 minutes and just let yourself be. As you become better and better at doing this and becoming more comfortable with the silence, your true self will start to bubble up. So the things that you really want will bubble up. The things that you don't will start to fall away. The things that help you create the best possible version of yourself will bubble up. The things that hold you down or keep you mediocre or keep you at a space where you're not able to show off who you really are, that stuff will begin to fall away. Your true self is found in that silence because you can strip away everything else that might be covering up that version of your true self. Give that a shot. In addition, as, the, as these ideas and these, these thoughts and beliefs and feelings start to bubble up, um, defining and identifying your true self, start to write them down. Write them down with pencil or pen and paper. Don't put them in your, in your phone if you, if you can. If you have to put them in your phone, it's better than nothing. Um, but there's something about writing them down by hand that makes it even more meaningful to you. It, it kind of embeds that, the, the truth of what you're writing within you. So find yourself some alone time. Start to find your true self. Strip away those things that keep you from showing up as your authentic self. And then start to write down those things. Start to write down the, the, the version of you that you desire to be, that you really feel strongly about. Who you really are. And then watch your performance go through the roof. Because as you start to connect your true self to what you're doing, your performance will become more authentic, which then will be able to rise to a different level of eliteness. It, it, it's really difficult to rise to that high level if you're performing for any other reason but your authentic self. Okay, try that on, play with it a little bit, see what you think, what you feel, what your intuition, what your gut tells you about that and work through it and find the way to do it for yourself, All right? I'm simply giving you some ideas, maybe um, some primers to get you started. From there, see what you can do with it. See how you can make that work for you. See how you can make your self become more vibrant and let your light shine even more and let the world know who you really are and how you want to show up. I don't think there's anything more important than that. And when you create that, we create your, your foundation out of that personal self, uh, the, the, that, that strong connection to your authentic self, everything else will get better. Um, I can pretty much promise you that. So let me know how it goes. Leave some comments on and thoughts. I'm happy to hear them. Happy to chat about it. And good luck. I hope you I hope you can really build that strong foundation on your true self so that your performance can become as as amazing as you'd ever hope it would be. Good luck.